Hi, this is Paul from paulbradby.com. I wanted to do a quick educational video about using uh, the Fibonacci speed resistance fan. Now, this is in particular a really good uh, tool to look for support and resistance zones on an instrument that's just made new highs on, on a trend, if you like. Now, this is platinum. Platinum's just made new highs. Uh, my expert algo actually signaled um, uh, this sort of 27th of November on the hourly time frame with a five and a six star buy there. And since then, the entry was around about 97580. It's gone all the way up and hit the highs at uh, 1092. But how do you manage these trades that are trending and making these new highs? Very, very difficult. You can see on the false breakout stochastic here that I'll be releasing soon. Um, to help people. We get these false breakouts on the top denoted by these yellow bars. That's a really, really strong trend. It never actually gets back to the oversold zone. It tried here, but never did. So this is, denote, this is a really strong trend. So how am I gonna place these trading stops? Where, do you, where are those support levels? And this is where the Fibonacci speed and resistance fan comes in here. So we've had these lows, okay? Before that, we were pretty range bound. Uh, for quite some days, uh, basically relaxing, if you like, after uh, after a bullish move. But then this current trend is one I'm interested in because this is the one I'm trading. You know, this is you know my expert Elgo has has called this, and this is a big trade. So how am I going to manage this moving forward? So let's go to the tools on the left hand side, the GAN and Fibonacci tools. I want to find the Fib speed resistance fan here okay and what i want to do now if i've just hit all-time highs on platinum i'm in this trade i've got my low pivot basically the last time it was oversold was down here it came a little lower on price action but this low on this price action uh, is where i want to be just before we've got the signals to go long so this low here you click once on here and then you need to click on this high this is the all-time high now, this gives me some fib, some fib zones. I'm not really interested in what's in above. What I'm interested in is support. I'm always looking at those 382, the 50s, and the 618s. Now, I can see now, when I zoom in on this, I can see the 50 fib is quite strong all the way through here. And this is probably a conservative entry strategy. I have got a support and resistance zone, a linear support and resistance zone here. Uh, you know, the low end of that is around 1,027. The upper bound is about 1,035. So I've got choices coming into next week in that I can go really aggressive and just follow this 382 fib fan level to uh, keep hold and keep pulling those trading stops, or I can be more conservative going into Monday. In going into Monday, I've got this support and resistance zone here. This is where my trading stop is right now, just underneath here. This is where we got the convergence of the 50 fib, and I'm just underneath that support and resistance zone. But if this trend continues to go higher, um, or just follow this trend line, we, we've got to be a little bit more aggressive aggressive so i may switch to this 50 fib when it when, when it actually pushes through this linear support and resistance zone and if it keeps going i may start to be more conservative i can't put another linear support and resistance zone in there because i've got no real price action intraday to actually give me a really credible support and resistance zone in reality i've got something that's you know very short term here with this pivot point here if I just take that left a little bit and probably around about there, but that's only short term. I just, I usually have those as purple on the short term. So if this does in fact get tested again um, and, and bounces off, I can confirm that. But right now that's short term and I've got to rely on this FIB uh, fan to actually help me manage this trade now a lot of people will either day trade uh this and you can use it on that on those on those trends during the day but i like to you know when we get these longer term uh trades on a six minute time frame with with my expert algo there 
you've got to stay in this trade as long as you can. Initially, as it pushes through my support and resistance zones, I wait for it to come back, test support, and then go again. And then I follow it when I get a new high here with a training stop below the linear support and resistance zones. I wait for it to push through the next one, have a pullback, get higher, then go. And this is where I am now between that, uh, you know, just underneath that uh, last support and resistance zone. So now I'm out, I'm, I'm in fresh air, I'm near those new highs. This is where I switch to this um, fib speed fan, uh, fib speed resistance fan, um, go from the low point just before the entry to these all time highs. And now I've got to use this, this is non-linear support and resistance because I've got no data to rely on again here. So using this tool is going to help me manage this trade. Okay, uh, 382 is more aggressive for me at uh, this moment in time. I'm going to stick to the 0 0.5 and see how that goes. So just to remind you how to use this very, very simple tool again on the TradingView platform, I'm just going to delete it and do it one more time. So again, I've had a signal breaking out of a range. My expert algo is giving me this signal. You could get a signal of something else on a different instrument. What I'm trying to show you here is I've got a signal. I'm in long. I'm trading it sensibly through my support and resistance zones. I've made an all-time high. We go to the tools here, the GAN and FIB tools. We open them up and we look for this FIB speed resistance fan. We go to the low point just before the entry. We go to this all-time high. We click the second time. And that gives us that non-linear support and resistance zone. Very, very simple to use then. The norm, the traditional uh, 0 0.25, 382, 0 0.5, 618.75. To be honest, that should be a 786. But the main thing is for me, I'm all about the 382s, the 50s, and the 618s. I can see how this has performed along this uh, trend channel right now. This is looking pretty good. My trading stop is just below, it's around about uh, uh, 1,026.70 right now below this linear support and resistance zone. But once the 50 fib starts to get through the other side of that, I will start adjusting with that. I want to see if we get another linear support and resistance zones to test that again. If not, I'll be relying on this fan to give me that support and resistance. So hopefully that helps. Very quick video, but it's a very, very useful tool. Once something starts trending, you need to find a way, if you've got no linear support and resistance zones to help you to manage those trades. So have a great weekend and I'll speak to you all very, very soon.